Right now, I'll teach a seminar, so I'll either team up with somebody that's a, um, a pistol instructor or just a gym mm. that wants to host me or businesses or churches or schools. Um, and I have about a three hour class that's just um, basically um, it's very it's a lot of stuff off of Craig Douglas's like managing unknown contact stuff. Um, and uh, because that's one of the things that I loved about his is that he was he was very much pioneering the whole concept. It, it seemed like of just dealing with space in the first place, dealing with boundaries. Like I was going from a more psychological female aspect of it, but he's very good at just like trimming the fat. And, and like what he did was just like, pfft, when the mm. first time I took his class, I was like floored because he had it all down to an art of like, these are drills that you can run in terms of how to keep boundaries on people, how to, how to manage space. And he's coming from it from a law enforcement background. And, you know, like basically he, you know, um, was, a uh, undercover cop in New Orleans forever. So he, he has a much different background, <laughs> mm. <laughs> a little bit tougher. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. But, well, I, how, do, how do you think that, um, I mean, you're training in multiple disciplines, right? I mean, you've got the, the karate background, you, you, you say you're doing Muay Thai forever, or white belt forever, Jiu Jitsu or whatever. I mean, how does that inform your, your teaching style? Um, you know, devoid of the, the woman aspect. And I, I do want to get into that with you. Okay. But. How does it form a trend? Like you personally, I mean, how has it evolved? <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever been asked this question. <laughs> uh, how has it evolved? Well, my I goal is the biggest aspect is constantly. just to, to keep coming back, um, keep yeah. training like the Cause you don't like it all the time. Right. Like, and to just keep improving and, and, you're never going to achieve. I think that's the biggest thing is like the understanding of you're never going to become John Wick. So that's depressing. Damn. You know, I don't know if that or not, but you're just never going to achieve that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, oh man, that's kind of badass. And I was like, I just feel like a hot mess. Like, <laughs> so yeah, all really. The time. <laughs> but I love it. Like it's, it's, it's also something like that builds the, builds something in you. Like, even if you're having like a, a rough year or day or whatever, you know, like it'll build, you go in there and I feel better because I'm like, okay, well, at least I did something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I do a lot with the concept of keep moving forward or um, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And right. it's just, sometimes you have to step back and take a very, very small step. I like that. And so Yeah. I mean, I think probably some of the best days I've ever had training are the days I was like, almost didn't go. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, in those, those days when you're you're in the car or or whatever, and you're right outside the door, and you're watching people go in, and you're like, "Do I like really today? I'm like, am I gonna do this? Like, yeah. what is that feeling? I mean, I don't know. I don't even know why I then go in, but you you still do. Yep. You come in. You're just in foul mood, and then pretty soon you're rolling around. And that's the other part. I, who was I recently? Joke. I was teasing about how. Um, you don't date in the gym. And the reason you don't date in the gym is because then if, you know, if things go south, you got to figure out who gets the dog in the divorce, you know, sort of thing. And yeah. it was like, no, no, no. That's like a lifeline right now. <laughs> right. right. No. Who gets to school? Yeah. Who gets to keep going to class? <laughs> um, well, how do you stay motivated? I mean, how, what keeps you motivated Probably to keep my, going? Um, you know, it's funny. I just saw a, uh, a, a podcast. I'm following this guy called William Googe and he's running across the United States right now. And, um, it's insane. This guy runs like almost 60 miles a day. And one of the things that I love that he said, because I was like, oh, that's so relatable, is he says that he, he sets himself publicly for certain goals of, oh, I'm going to do this. Therefore, it's like, oh, now I got to really back my mouth up. <laughs> and so I think right. that's really ultimately, if you want to get right down to it, it's like, that's what keeps me going. It's like, I'm going to say I'm going to do this. And so I, if I do this, I'm like, oh, shit, I really yeah. got to. <laughs> I told these people I'm going to be there. I told these people uh, I was going to do that. That's where I'm at right now with like my like perpetual fight camp with MMA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, right before you step on the mat, you're like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And then you go and you're like, oh, okay, this is fun. So yeah, I'm not a self-motivator. I have to mm. tell other people and <laughs> I have to, That's it's funny. probably pride. <laughs> That's funny.